you think the Canadians should make changes to their coaching staff during the offseason? Absolutely, yes. Yes. I'm tired of seeing Canadians players in the wrong defensive position. And I'm, I know I've, I've called out J.J. Daniel on this show before, but that's absolutely one guy who has to go from this coaching staff. I mean, it's one thing to look at Claude Julien, and I know he hasn't gotten a lot of flack, but one of the biggest reasons why I think that's the case is because the staff around him is still guys from the Michel Therrien regime. It's still one of the more curious things about this whole team right now. Why is Claude Julien in place with guys that aren't his? I don't know why... He didn't do that when he came into staff. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know why he didn't do that when he when he went into last season. It's a very curious situation. I think if the Canadians uh, want to be a better team going forward, they have to start cleaning house with the coaching staff and, and let Claude Julien pick some of his guys around him. Yeah, it is weird that usually when you bring a new coach, you at least it's halfway through the season you let him have an, one of his guys to come in and then really sort of clean house uh, during the off season. But I don't know. Maybe Jeff Molson said something to him that this moment you need to work with what you have, and then after your full year with the Canadians, then we can talk in the off season. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they made uh, some coaching assistant coaching changes during the off season to have more of a uh, Claude Julien's picks with him behind the bench. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine with. Him. Who, who his assistants are. I don't think he, it's like, oh, I got to bring Doug Hooter from Boston here to work it out. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, a, 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 again, the head coach is responsible for those under him. He's responsible for the power play, the penalty kill, and all that. And, and I'm not saying these guys are puppets behind the bench. They certainly have input, but the head coach is responsible for the development for, of players at this level. Uh, and he's also... Uh, responsible for the system and I think he's fine with a guy like Kirk Muller and he's probably fine with JJ Daniel to be honest with you um, and I think if he went and said hey listen here's a deal I don't like the job JJ Daniel's doing mm -hmm. that they would consider letting him bring in one of his own guys but I, I think he's fine with them so do you think we'll see the same staff next year yeah I do oh, yeah. I do. I don't think the Canadians would be doing themselves a service if they'd be doing that. And adding on to that point, that should also apply to their AHL team as well, with guys like Sylvain Lefebvre still behind the bench and seeing uh, the development that's been going on there or lack thereof. I haven't necessarily been pleased with what he's that been doing. That I agree about. with. Yeah, so for sure. If there's one coach who shouldn't be there with the Canadians organization as a whole next year, it should be Sylvain Lefebvre. Okay. But as we talked about, they're Bergie's guys. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Part of the Facebook group, Bergie's buddies. <laughs> Go to hockeyinsideout.com now and check out this week's full episodes.